Hi everyone, Eduardo Martinez here. I, I work as Intel B Pro Specialist in PS technology. Today I'm going to show you how Intel EMA works and we are going to check how you can configure it Intel EMA. Intel EMA is the newest tool for remote management for B Pro devices and it provides us some advantages over the previous tools. For example, you can access PCs outside of the firewall and also eases the deployment while still providing the most important feature which is a connection at a hardware level. By hardware level I mean that we can connect below the OS, the operative system, and that provides us the capability of connecting to the BIOS, for example. I'm going to show you the, all the tabs, or most of them, and then I'm going to enter in one of the PCs and show you what you can do with that tool. First, we have, we have the tab overview. Here you can check how much PCs you have added to the, to the platform. Also, we have the tool endpoints. Here you can see the name and, and here's where you can enter the PCs from here in view. Also, you can filter those PCs so you can find the ones you are looking for. Also, we have users. Users provides the administrator a tool to control the access of the other administrators. We can provide them with more or less role, I mean, power, because we want to control who can set up or configure the Intel Emma and that we can do what we can do with that tab users. Also we have endpoint groups. Here we configure the different groups we have added to the platform. You don't have to configure every one of the PCs that you might want to add to the platform. You have to set up just groups and then you join those devices inside those groups. Here this more of most of the tools or the capabilities we have with the Intel Emma. I'm going to talk a little bit about user consent for in bank KVM because that means that you can connect to the PC remotely without any ping or any password. That's super useful when you don't have anyone in the other side or, the, or in the PC that you might want to connect. Also, we have storage. In storage, you can upload an image an image of the operative system, so you can present that image to the client. So you can format a PC without needing a key, a USB key. Now I'm going to go inside one of the PCs. So I have added provisioned inside the platform. I'm going to start from here, from desktop. Desktop means, oh, desktop it's a um, remote management solution or remote management connection on the application layer. That's very important, the application layer, because we can we can also connect below the OS, I mean, on a hardware level. What we are going to, I'm going to try to show you that how that, that's possible. I'm gonna look on the, look off the networking card, and I'm gonna connect again to the PC remotely, but below the OS. Here you are going to see how we still does not have connection. I'm going to reset that in order to be faster, but here it is perfectly. Here we have, we don't have internet connection as you see here, I want to show you here. And that's very important because that's the main feature of Intel Vipro devices with Intel Emma, of course. I'm gonna plug on again the networking card. Just give me a couple of seconds. I'm going to show you more capabilities. Here we have hardware information. That means that we can access to the hardware that the PC has inside. Also, we have event lock. That means that everything related to 
the BIOS or the, the management engine in the PC which we are connecting through EMT. Every configuration, it's every change in the configuration, it's locked here. And also we have alarms. Alarms means that you can turn on the PC in whatever you want. You can set up, for example, I want my PC to start at nine o'clock every Monday. Well, the Intel M is gonna do that for you automatically. Also we have a terminal here. You can see different type of capabilities, but the most important, at least for me, is the CMD. We have a remote CMD where we can interact with the OS without the user notizing. That's very important because we might, might be able to troubleshoot without having to interrupt the worker. Also, we have the capability to download and send files. I'm going to go to the desktop real quick and it's as easy as just click upload and then insert a, a txt in that case or the, whatever file you want to upload here it is the file on in the desktop and here if you can you tick or check here you can download the file very easy i'm going to show you that this file is on the desktop actually and here it is and finally we have processes by processes we can check what processes are running and you can terminate those here and i'm going to show you one thing one last thing i'm going to shut down the pc real fast and now i'm going to turn it on and just um join the or join or access to the BIOS. Here we are going to have the button where I'm, I'm going to turn on the PC. Just give the software a couple of seconds because the server have to ask to the PC and the PC have to answer power up to BIOS. And in a couple of seconds, we are going to see the BIOS of the of that PC remotely. So this very a very unique capability of Intel B Pro, and you might be you might find ways to troubleshoot the PC way in ways which were not able to be done without interacting with the BIOS remotely. So that's uh, that's the demo. Hope you like it and have a nice day.